Alright, welcome back to the Supercoach Enough channel. In this video, we're reviewing round 7 of the 2024-25 NBL Supercoach season. And a pretty good week, uh, once again, scored a 462, which was uh, top 3% of the round, uh, so 547th for the round, and has seen a nice improvement again in our overall. So now inside the top 1,000 at uh, rank 839. So things are going along quite nicely now. Uh, we've, we've ridden the storm at the start of the year. And uh, onwards and upwards. So looking at the team, um, winner, yep, fantastic. Uh, so we had Jack White with a 60 off his double game week. Uh, Hurt with a 59 uh, likewise. Uh, we had Menenga on the bench with a 51. Um, and uh, Higgins Titcher, um, I don't remember the story behind him, but I brought him in. I think it was maybe off just the cheapness. And he did the business with a 35, averaging 24, um, which has seen a green arrow there. Uh, we brought in Pinder, um, I guess, after the video. Um, I had Magne in there originally. And I haven't seen how he went, but uh, someone suggested Pinder, and I hadn't realised that he had the double game week. So I thought, yeah, let's go him. 38's a bit underwhelming uh, for two games there. But we got the captaincy call right. Jackson Cartwright continues to carve up. 78 points. Mooney with a 47 was solid. Could have got a few more points with Henschel scoring a 55. Uh, and Hickey with a 33, which I'm pretty sure was off a single. So... Albrick with the 26 as well. So, you know, great scores across the board. Um, having a look at the popular trade-ins, trade-outs this week. We'll probably talk about that in a minute. <laughs> uh, but we'll go back to the head-to-heads for this week. So it was a pretty tight one against uh, East Valley United. So Matt's team, I know he's been going pretty well overall. Um, so to get a win over you, Matt, is an achievement, and I will hang my hat on that for sure. <laughs> but uh, we'll have a look at Matt's team. Uh, 453 is a solid score. Uh, so Captain Cooks, who only returned to 52, so I think that was the, the difference maker. Had White, um, had Della Vadova for a 31. So I'm just trying to work here. I guess, yeah, having the 104. So I didn't have the 50. You know, he had Jack White. I guess Mooney with a 47 wasn't too far off. So, yeah, I can see how that, that's pretty close overall. And once I've done the maths, I guess having three sort of single digits there. Lopez with a 39 as well on the bench. What's double? That's 78. I do remember looking at him, but I think... No, he was a good price. He was the one to get on. Unreal. Oh, well. <laughs> there you go. Um, but just having a quick look through the league. Oh, 509 Wills winners. So we'll have a look at Wills' team. So he had Cooks, White, Lopez on the bench as well. Had Hurt. Jackson Cartwright as captain. Mooney had Pepper. 50, so 62 points for him. Brilliant. If you uh, held him, that had Henschel do well also. So again, some pretty good scoring this week. Um, another high scoring game. So Shane O's guns with the 484. Swipe right on Pinder, 475. So we'll have a quick look at those two. Shane and Katrina's team. Um, again, Jackson Cartwright, I think, was the key as captain this week for a good score. Um, but Hurt. White in both teams as well. Um, Sobi with a 75. That's a great return. Um, on this side, Doolittle with a 50 was okay. Uh, Lopez as well on this side. So some good scores there. So in terms of trades this week, so having a look, we've got Melbourne on the double. Uh, who else? 
South East Melbourne on the double, Tasmania on the double, and Perth. So, yeah, so Perth and Tasmania were the two, which is, I guess, is why I looked at uh, Magne um, originally. But uh, that's okay. We've got Pinder, so we're sweet there. So White and Hurt are locked in. Um, Jackson Cartwright potentially could go, but, uh, you know, I guess what's the alternative? Maybe Doyle on the double would be good. Pepper at his price is good value on the double. Sobe, you know, is pretty cheap. So let's have a bit of a look ahead round nine. So Perth on the double again. So Pepper is definitely looking like coming back into the team. Uh, Brisbane, with, with that would almost be their first double. So might be a bit of a fixture swing for the Bullets. New Zealand back on the double in round 10 alongside Perth again. So, yeah, Pepper is locked in as far as I can tell. Um, Illawarra on the double. So probably don't need to rage trade Ulbrich and Hickey just yet. So Cairns, just single, single coming up. Single, single, single. So it's uh, Higgins break even, still negative 20. We're holding him. Can we... Uh, Meninga with a negative 5 is not the biggest trade out. Mooney maybe. Is one we could probably cash out on. So let's go Mooney out. Um, so I guess, you know, Doyle on the double is one potential target. Sobe as well. Um, but I guess there is a possibility of going all the way down to Pepper, you know, banking a bit of cash and, and upgrading elsewhere. So let's have a look at that. And the, we've still got another trade up our sleeve. So we can do essentially whatever we want. Um, I've got to go back to the fixture because I've already forgotten it. So I think, what was Illawarra did have a double, but it wasn't until about game week 10, week 10, whatever we call it, round 10. So it's not next week, is it? No. Yeah, week 10, so I mean, not an urgent trade, but Ulbrich with the 15. Hickey with a negative four, so maybe it's Ulbrich that goes this week. Can uh, bang, put Menenga in its centre, potentially. Um, or we can have a look at our options. Um, I don't think Harold has a double, so no need to, to get him in straight away. Um, I guess if we have a look at the, double, the averages, so we could potentially move Menanga. Is there a higher averaging? So it cooks with the 38, but only has the single. We can't quite afford him anyway. Um, do little on the double potentially, or the other option if we go one more swing with Henschel. I thought he'd be higher up on this list, but maybe Sobe. But averaging twenty four and a half, maybe isn't the strongest. Let's have a look, see if there's been a shift in his stats.
So I'm going to play in the same sort of minutes, maybe a little bit more this week. But I guess there is a risk of these 0 0.5, 0 0.7 point per minute games. So do we just go back to the, the Milton Doyle well? Because based on average, we just hold Mooney <laughs> at guard. Do little. Uh, what's his break even like? I suppose seventy five is break even. We might lose a little bit of cash, but I'll be too worried about that. Uh, I'll just cancel the trade, and we'll just have a quick look at whatever else is doing. <laughs> That's the easy way out. Yeah, so Doolittle is a top target. Then Sobe, he does have a nicer break even. So I guess if we project them similar this week on the doubles, because I think they've both got singles from, I know, Perth with another double. So that does point to Doolittle. He's averaging 31. Yeah, I think that's the, the play. So I'll break out. Uh, swap Menenga down to our center. And then it loads. Christian and do little. No, not Vordenberg. What's happened there? Uh, okay, didn't. All right, there we go. Complete the trades. So now just the captaincy shout. So White on the double, Hurt on the double, Doolittle on the double, Pinder on the double. So we're probably a little bit stacked here. Um, do we back Pepper and Henschel to both outscore Jackson Cartwright this week? Um, based on 55... 62, you know, imagine that go close. So it seems weird having him on the bench, but I think that's uh, the way to go. Attack the double game week players. Um, and then going off averages, I think, you know, White and Hurt other than sort of more obvious captaincy shouts. I guess with Pinder's low average, we could put... Do little on the park. VC move, that's very handy. So I think that's going to be our team for this week. We'll see how it goes anyway. No need to worry about the boost. We've only got one left, but uh, I'm sure we'll find a use for that later in the season. But uh, we'll wrap the video up there. So as always, if you've got any questions, comments, thoughts, feel free to add them below this video. Give us a like if you enjoy the NBL content. Subscribe for all the fantasy sports content on the channel. And other than that, we'll catch you in the next one.